Shalom Aleichem and welcome to Online Smicha. With so many good bakeries out there in town, and they make very delicious baked goods, the question becomes, how important is, is it sometimes, uh, at least sometimes, for people to bake their own goods? Home fresh, homemade goods. So what I'm talking about is a din in Shulchan Aruch that the, the, Mechab, the Ramah brings in Hilcha Shabbos, Simon Reish Membez, and the, the Ramah says like this, Noyagim, this Simon, Simon Reish Membez, speaks about what you should do to show honor and pleasure for the day of Shabbos. So the Ramah brings, Noyagim lolush kadei shir chala, it is customary that you need a dough, the amount that you would have to take off chala, uh, you do this babayis at home, la seis mehem lachmim. So you should be able to make bread, chala, lift soya alein b'shabes v'yomtif. So you should be able, be able to eat them, break bread on Shabbos and yomtif with the bread, the bread that you're baking. V'hu mikovay Shabbos v'yomtif. And that is showing honor, it's part of the mitzvahs of showing honor and respect and pleasure during yomtif is to have homemade fresh bread. He brings this opinion. And the Ramah says, V'ein l'shanes, and try not to break that custom. How important this custom is, it's brought in different sorim from, uh, from, uh, from the Rebbe of Tel this Aaron, that he would say that it's mekubo, it's, it, it's, uh, it's known to them from generations that whenever the Ramah writes the words, V'nagu, V'ein l'shanes, it's customary to do so, not to change this minig, that means he wants it to be done even if, if it means mysterious nefesh. That's how important it is. They say from one of the from, from one of the Rebbes, that the Skvera Rebbe once said, I can't imagine how it's even possible that Gehenim could do anything to any person who had his fingers involved in baking challah for Shabbos. Now, this is nice, all, but what is really the mucker? What's the reason to, to make home, fresh, bake home goods, challah for Shabbos? So it's interesting that the Morgan of Ram says that the Dark King Moshe brings a smach, brings a proof for this from a halach and hilchas Yom Kippur. The Yom Kippur, it says, we try to do, ex- out of Yom Kippur, Aserus Mechuva, it says we try to do extra special things to prepare for Yom Kippur. We do Hidr Mitzvah. So, for example, it, said those, it says that those who are not Machmir throughout the year in Pas Yisrael, they eat Pas Akum, and, and Aserus Mechuva try to be Machmir. So over there it says, Sheyoichal Simen Tov Reish Beis, which is Aserus Mechuva, it says, make sure that it's the seven days uh, seven days between Yom Kippur and uh, between Yom Kippur and Rosh Hashanah to make sure to eat, bake your own goods. So you should be able to eat chulim betayra seven days. What's the calculation of seven days? Because Aser Yisimei includes the two days of Rosh Hashanah, the one day of Yom Kippur. So the seven days in between, you should try to have chulim betayra. That's why you make sure it's all done in a proper way. That's a ra- that's he's using that. The Darkei Moshe uses that. That in special times you bake your own bread chulim b'tayra. So Morgan Avram says, "Excuse me, that raya works against you. Why is that raya working against you? Because if you think about, if every Shabbos you should bake your own bread, you don't even have seven days in Aseri Simei Tshuva, because there's two days of Rosh Hashanah, there's one day of Yom Kippur." And there's always a Shabbos in between the Aserahs and Chuva. And yet it says that you should make sure to, to, to have seven days Batara, as if the, the one day of Shabbos, which is anyways in between, it's not always baked at home. How do you prove from there that in a regular Shabbos, you should be break, baking your own bread? You should be baking your own, shab- your own challah. So you don't, so the Amagan Avram says, I don't get the raya from there. So he brings other rayas. He brings a raya. The Gemara says, uh, first of all, he says, perhaps, maybe you could say, that Abchia was Mekadosh al Piria. He made Rosh Chodesh based on, on Ria, and the, and when they saw the moon, and when they, when they saw and when they proclaimed Rosh Chodesh. So for him, possibly, it was, uh, it was possible that he had Rosh Hashanah one day. If he had Rosh Hashanah only one day, then 
you take out the Shabbos of one of the seven days, which you anyways kept kosher challah, homemade challah, so there's still seven days to be Eichel Chul and Batayra. But obviously that's pushing it. So he brings a raya from another place. The Gemara says in Maseches Tainus that the wife of Rav Hanina would always heat up the oven out of Shabbos, so people should think there's things cooking, and, and, and so people should know, people should, ah, they're, they're preparing for Shabbos. So she would heat up the oven so people should think that they're baking bread. Ah, so here we see that it's a good thing to bake your own bread for Shabbos. And the, at the end, the Morgan of Ram brings the famous reason, another reason why you should bake your own bread. Vegam kedei l'kayim mitzvah schala. It's, it would be quite important that you bake something, you make your own, so you should be able to fulfill the mitzvah of challah before Shabbos. What exactly is that? We know that Chava, Chava, when she seduced uh, Adam Rishon to do an Avera, so because of that, the, 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 until then, the, uh, Misa was not, it wasn't part of the plan that mis, Misa, death, was supposed to happen. When uh, Adam Rishon sinned due Due to the, what Chava, his wife, told him to do, of the chalosh the chala of the world got lost in the sense now people will die, and there was a big downfall because of the sin. So chalosh to correspond as a remez, as a sign to that, we, we, we make up for that by baking our own chala, baking and doing the mitzvah of chala to make up for the loss of what Chava did to Adam Arisha on, 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 originally, on the, during my Sebaratius. Now, if that's correct, it seems to be that it's preferable that the Chala should be made specifically on Friday, because on Friday is the day that Adam Rish, Chava had the story with Adam Rishan, and if you're doing it to commemorate of the Chalas Shalalam, then despite the fact that uh, there is... There's good reason that there's a bakery that makes good food, but if you want to take challah to, com- to commemorate or as a, 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 as a tshuva for what Chava did the first Friday, there's an Indian to, to bake your own challah. Now, there's another reason that why you should bake challah, and preferably on Friday, is because it's like the lechem upon him. The lechem upon him in the, in the Beis in the, in the Beis was baked every Friday, and therefore, to commemorate that, you do it you bake your own bread. There are those that say there's another Emes. The Mishnah Brewer brings this Emes. The Pasuk says, V'hoya b'yoyim ashishi, and it will be on Friday, V'hechinu asher sheyaviu, they, they, they will bring what they prepared. But the Pasuk says, Es asher toifu afu, whatever is baked, whatever they will bake, be, bake will be baked. So there is a, uh, that Pasuk is talking about Yom HaShishi, the sixth day, Erev Shabbos, and the Pasuk makes reference to baking on Erev Shabbos, that's a remez to perhaps make your own challah. Obviously, this is, if it's, uh, it's had the taste, you might say the, the bakery's challah is better. Some might, but if you want to have these extra additional things to commemorate the, uh, the fact that chava ruined chalosi sholeilam, and to have some kind of comparison to the lechem upon him in the Beis HaMikdash, there is def- definitely something to make your own home, home-baked challah.